In this course, we're going to see an overview on the fraying phenomenon. Also, we're going to work on two different workshops. Workshop number one emphasizes on fraying simulation. In this workshop, we're going to learn about the use of the command prompt of Abacus. For workshop number two, we're going to create some other Python scripts in order to automate the modification of simulation parameters and also how to submit some simulations automatically. Hello and good day to everyone. My name is Nicolas Diaz Molina. I am from Colombia and I am a mechanical engineer graduated from the Technological University of Pereira. Currently, I am working at the same university as an investigator and an assistant professor at the mechanical engineering program. Right now on this course, we are going to learn about fretting fatigue, which is my investigation area at the moment. In this course, we're going to learn about three main topics. We're going to see an overview on the fretting phenomenon. We're going to learn what fretting is, what causes it, and why it is important. Also, we're going to see the different damage parameters that are used for fretting in order to predict the component's lifetime. Then we're going to work on two different workshops. Workshop number one emphasizes on fretting simulation. In this workshop, we are going to learn how to define the fretting components, assign the material, but most importantly, we're going to learn about how to define the fretting steps, the content parameters, and also we're going to learn about three different mesh methodologies used on fretting fatigue. We're going to learn about the differences on these parameters and when to use each of these parameters, depending on the different results that you want on your fretting simulation. Finally, on this workshop, we're going to see the different results that we are going to get in here in order to verify the model created. We're going to see how to create them manually and also automatically. Then for workshop number two, we're going to learn about the use of the command prompt of Abacus. We're going to learn how to create automatically field outputs. In this case, we're going to create a damage parameter field output in order to visualize the damage parameter and also to calculate it. And also then we're going to create some other Python scripts in order to automate the modification of simulation parameters and also how to submit some simulations automatically.